You need as many people on your side as you can get your hands on now, Colonel. It's taken long enough, but I think I might finally begin heeding his advice. Roy Mustang's greatest asset as a leader is how much importance he places on his peers and his ability to look to the future. Riza, Hughes, the Elrics, Armstrong, Havoc, Breda, Fury, Fallman, and for a short while even Olivier Armstrong. These are all people Mustang associated himself with, and they are the same people that will hold himself accountable as he becomes the leader of a mistress. Not much is known about Mustang before the war, but what we do know is that he learned flame alchemy from Bertold Hawkeye, and shortly after enlisted into the military. With his newfound abilities, he would thrive alongside the other state alchemists in the Ishvalan War, where he would be given the title of Hero of Ishval. For a war given the name of the War of Extermination, Roy burned his enemies down as per his orders. After these events in Ishval, his guilt changed his motivations as his idealism partnered alongside Hughes' realism made him see his peers in a new light. But as the anime glossed over the genocide of Ishval, the manga by Arakawa goes much more into detail of his actions and why he would receive that title. The flame alchemist honed his skill, learning extreme precision, efficiency, and control over his flames as he mowed down countless innocent Ishvalans all in the name of what he thought was service for his country. He learned how to perfectly control his fire, but it cost the lives of Ishvalans, the ones that he didn't even know the names of. But those eyes of a killer that he, Riza, and Hughes all shared slowly turned into eyes that would be able to look towards a better future, with Roy as their leader. Mustang was given the title of Hero of Ishval because of his flames that protected his allies. Even during the war, he made sure to protect his allies at all costs. Thereafter, Roy began to question why he joined the military. For him, it was to protect people. That became Mustang's philosophy. It was that everyone had someone they loved and someone that they would protect, even if it costed them their lives. So he believed that one person would protect their loved ones and that cycle of protection would go on until everyone would be taken care of. With that realization, Roy would understand that he needed allies if he were to rise to the rank of the Fuhrer, so that he could prevent any future genocides like the one he participated in, so that he could protect the people he loved. This gave him hope to move forward as he quickly drafted Hawkeye, Hughes, and Armstrong to his team, alongside the others. What separates Roy Mustang from Fuhrer Bradley is a trait that both he and Ling share on what it means to be a king. Bradley doesn't need friends or allies, nor does he weigh them as such. Wrath sees them only as pawns and tools to be used. But Roy and Ling, they care about those around them. And even through Mustang's cold demeanor, he sometimes cares too much, as he tried to do anything to save Gene Havoc, and went out of his way to protect Maria Ross. It's true that Roy could be just using them as tools to achieve his dream, but considering the two most important people, Hawkeye and Hughes, that simply cannot be the case. After Hughes's death, Mustang spends the majority of the series looking to stop the homunculi, of course as they are obstacles in his path, but at the same time he was looking for the one who killed his best friend. As he asked each homunculus he encountered if they were the one who did the deed, and when he finds out it's envy, Mustang enters a territory that is difficult to return from nearly losing himself in his own vengeance. Mustang's sheer rage, to me, showed how much Hughes meant to him, as he was the first one to join Mustang's cause. And one of the people that were able to help him out of that state of anger was Riza, who once stated that she would follow Mustang into hell if she had to. Mustang and Hawkeye stand hand in hand throughout the entire series, and their bond is one that clearly extends past their cordial relationship of adjutant to superior. I can say that as two people, Mustang and Hawkeye are inseparable, as one cannot live without the other, and this is clearly stated by the two of them when faced off with Envy, where their interaction is the following. I can tell you I have no intention of carrying on by myself. This fight will be my last. Once all of this is over, I'm going to end my life. I can't afford to lose you. 
Riza truly is Mustang's greatest ally, and someone who is able to ensure that he is thinking rationally and clearly, and someone who will not hesitate to strike him down if he were to change sides. But even beyond that, Riza Hawkeye is someone he cannot bear to lose, especially after losing Hughes. Mustang is incredibly idealistic, and that as well opposes his smug appearance. His eyes truly see the good in everything, and in everyone which is so interesting when juxtaposed with his actions in Ishval. Mustang's dream seems to be one large act of redemption, to atone for the crimes that he committed. While he, Riza, and the others know that they cannot truly atone for what they have done, their guilt results in an elevated sense of duty for the future of their country, and they are now dedicated to put their lives on the line and to ensure that a mistress doesn't turn its back on anyone anymore, and especially not its own people. After Father was defeated, Mustang's first goal was to return Ishvalans to their own land. By the end of Brotherhood, we even see Roy put the health of Gene Havoc in front of his own, before his own eyesight. While the manga ended with Roy permanently losing it, I did appreciate the fact that it was given back to him, in Brotherhood. Because I think Roy is a man who deserved to see the fruits of his labor and to be a better leader than the one before, to owe it to the people of Ishval. When thinking back on Roy Mustang, as a character, I think it's important to remember all of the good that he did, but to remember all the bad as well. Because that duality and clouded morality that Fullmetal Alchemist carries makes it one of my favorite stories ever, and makes Roy Mustang one of my favorite characters of the series. You've got to stay strong. And don't you ever give up on living. I need to know you can keep your cool no matter what happens. 